this video, we will see a problem based on a masonry wall. Here is the question. Now, whatever is given here, I'll write that in the form of data first. So, let us get started. It is given that a rectangular masonry wall is 8 meter high. So, height of the wall is 8 meter. Is 4 meter wide with, I'll denote it as B. 4 meter and 2 meter thick. Next, the horizontal wind pressure is 1500 Newton per meter square. So, wind pressure I will denote it as P suffix W 1500 Newton per meter square and it is acting on 4 meter side so that we can explain it in the form of a diagram. Find the maximum and minimum intensities of stresses induced at the base. So the question is to find maximum intensity of stress that is sigma max and minimum intensity of stress that is sigma min. If density of the masonry wall is 20,000 Newton per meter cube. So density is denoted by rho and that is 20,000 Newton per meter cube. So now with the data available. Let us try to get the solution to this problem. In the solution part, first I will draw the diagram of the masonry wall. Now, the cross section is denoted by B and T. So, width is 4 and the thickness is 2 meter. Here I am drawing the diagram of that masonry pillar or we can say the masonry wall. It is 4 meter wide. And 2 meter thick. So this is the thickness of the masonry wall. Now this masonry wall it has a height of. 8 meter given in the problem. So I'll project this. This is the ground on which the masonry pillar is fixed. Now it has a height of 8 meter. So I'll denote it on the diagram here. This height is 8 meter. So this is the masonry wall. Or we can say the masonry pillar. And this masonry pillar it can be made up of concrete that is a concrete wall and now here we have to calculate for this how much is the maximum and minimum intensities of stresses it is also given in the problem that some horizontal wind pressure is acting and that is acting on 4 meter side so here is the 4 meter side it means that the wind pressure would be acting I am assuming this direction that this is the wind pressure it is acting on this 4 meter side similarly the same wind pressure will act over the entire height that is the wind pressure will remain constant throughout the height that is up to 8 meter so here also I will denote that it is a wind pressure P suffix W value is given as 1500 Newton per meter square. So this much is the wind pressure. Now we have to find out how much is the stress that is maximum and minimum values for this masonry pillar. So I'll start the problem first by finding the cross section area. I'll say that since the cross section area of masonry wall is given by 
द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज टू इंटू फोर दैट गिवस मी एट मीटर स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट आई एल ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट द वॉल्यूम सो देर फॉर वॉल्यूम ऑफ मेसनरी वॉल is equal to area into height area is 8 and even the height is 8 meter so therefore volume is 64 meter cube next as we can see that in the problem the density of the masonry pillar is given and it is 20000 newton per meter cube so once we know the density and the volume we can find out how much is the weight of this entire masonry wall that is how much how much is the self weight and that self weight would be denoted as density into volume so here i'll say that since the self weight of the masonry wall is given by w is equal to density into volume density is 20000 volume we have found out it is 64 so therefore the weight of the masonry wall it comes out to be 1.28 into 10 raised to 6 newton the unit is newton because density was in terms of newton per meter cube volume is in terms of meter cube so meter cube meter cube gets cancelled out and newton is the value of uh, the unit of the weight now after finding the self weight because of the self weight of the masonry wall there will be direct compression of the masonry wall which is called as direct stress so here i'll write down now since direct stress induced because of weight or i'll write down self weight of the masonry wall is given by direct stress is denoted by sigma d and that is equal to weight that is force upon area and this area is the cross section area so therefore direct stress will be equal to weight is 1.28 into 10 raised to 6 and area is we have found out it was 8 meter square so that is the cross section area so from this i'll get the answer of direct stress and it comes out to be 160 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so this is the value of direct stress which is there because of the self weight of the masonry wall so now once we have got the direct stress now we can go on for the bending stress so after this i'll say that because of wind pressure acting on the masonry wall there will be bending of the masonry wall hence bending stress will be induced in the masonry wall so here i have written that since because of the wind pressure acting on the masonry wall there will be bending of the masonry wall and hence bending stress will be induced in the masonry wall so to understand this 
here we can say that because of the wind pressure acting that wind pressure will try to bend this masonry wall along its direction so because of this there will be bending produced inside this section which is the masonry wall and we have to find out the value of that bending stress so here i'll say that after this therefore bending stress induced is given by that bending stress sigma b is given by the formula m by z and here i will keep this as equation number 1 now i need to calculate the value of bending moment and for that i require how much is the force which is acting due to wind pressure so i'll say that therefore force acting because of wind pressure is given by now the force acting because of wind pressure i denoted as p and that force will be wind pressure into the area where the wind pressure is acting i denoted as a suffix w now wind pressure is known to us area where the wind is acting that will be it is acting on 4 meter side not on 2 meter side so here this distance is 4 and at the same time that wind pressure is there on total height which is 8 meter so area will be 4 into 8 i'll draw it in the form of a diagram this is the projected area or we can say the area over which the wind pressure acts that is a sub x w and this is 4 meter by 8 meter so therefore putting the values force acting is wind pressure that is given in the problem as 1500 and area over which the wind pressure acts that is 4 into 8 so finally the force acting will come out to be 48 into 10 raised to 3 newton now this wind force will be acting at exactly half of the height height is 8 meter so exactly through half of this the wind force p would be acting and this distance will be half of height i'll denote it as h by 2 so because of the force and because of this distance h by 2 there is a moment produced which produces rotation about the base so if i take the moment about the base i'll write down therefore bending moment is given by m is equal to p that is wind force into h by 2 so therefore p is 48 into 10 raised to 3 h is 8 by 2 so therefore m comes out to be it is 1 it is 192 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter now once i have the value of bending moment the next thing would be to calculate z z is called as section modulus so therefore section modulus for rectangular cross section it is given by z is equal to 
i upon y and for that here to explain the section modulus on the cross section i'll draw x axis and y axis now here we have to take the moment of inertia about the y axis so here i'll write down therefore z will be i it is i y y that is equal to it will be i'll take this as b and this value as t so bt bt cube by 12 divided by y will be half of t that is the distance of this y axis so therefore z will be bt cube by 12 into 2 by t on cancellation here we have z is equal to bt square by 6 so this is the section modulus for the given section b is 4 t is 2 so therefore z value comes out to be 2.67 meter cube after getting m and z value we can put them in equation number 1 to get the answer of bending stress that is sigma b so i'll say that therefore put m and z in equation number 1 so we have sigma b is equal to m value it was 192 into 10 raised to 3 z it is 2.67 so therefore the answer of bending stress it comes out to be 71.91 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so now once we get sigma b value that is 71.91 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square now i can go for the calculation of maximum and minimum intensities of stresses so i'll write down therefore maximum intensity of stress is given by sigma suffix max is equal to sigma d that is direct stress plus bending stress direct stress value it was 160 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square sigma b 71 point 9 1 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so therefore sigma max value comes out to be 231.91 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square this will be the first answer for us then minimum intensity so therefore minimum intensity of stress is given by sigma min is equal to it will be direct stress sigma d minus bending stress sigma b direct stress 160 into 10 raised to 3 minus bending stress 71.91 into 10 raised to 3 so on subtraction i'll get sigma min value it comes out to be 88.09 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square this will be the second answer for us so now here we have calculated the maximum and minimum intensities of stresses and as we look into the question there we had to find out how much was the maximum and minimum intensities of stresses induced at the base so we have found out the maximum intensity of stress at the base as 231.91 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so this is the first answer then the minimum intensity of stress is 88.09 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square that is sigma min and with this we complete the problem.